The Hagar EV buses, new to the Barbados market, were unveiled at the Mews in Hull Town. The dealer is the Hooser Motor Corporation, whose financial director is Trevor Headley. He used the launch to point out that people interested in purchasing the vehicles can get assistance from government's Energy Smart Fund, for which he is a partner. There's a fund that has in $41 million in it right now. And believe it or not, they're almost begging you to take this money. You can imagine that. $41 million. Now part of that money is $50,000 in grants. Grants. That means you don't have to pay it back. That's for small entrepreneurs who have like salons and so on, barber shops and so on. They can get up to $50,000 in a grant to, to it has to be connected to renewable energy. Now the other part of the of the loan, the fund is a loan through the Enterprise Growth Fund, up to $2 million at 3.75% interest. Mr. Headley said attention will be placed on training young people in after-sales service. One of the days where you can just go on leave a mango tree and fix these vehicles, these vehicles um, have into computers. They even, just the battery itself, there's something called a battery management unit, right? And I see my friend here, Rodney, is, is smiling at me. That is a computer that sits on the battery to make sure that all the cells are balanced and so on. So my aim, my, my primary role in this, uh, in this company, this startup, and I believe in it, is to get some youngsters and some oldsters too, I, 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 I'm looking at me all the time. Um, and I'm going to be reached out to the SJPI to get the youngsters involved, to have them trained. President of the Alliance of Owners of Public Transport, Roy Raphael, lauded the initiative by the Hooser Corporation and called it a win-win situation for the sector. We are really happy today to be part of the launch. I'm looking forward for us to capitalize on it. As you were told that funding is available through the Enterprise Growth Fund. Government have made available over $3 million in the sector to, um, to get rolling. The, the, the Prime Minister is very much interested and you know she wants to start the leading off as we relate to uh, re renewable energy. And the association, as I said, is prepared to start the ball rolling. We are going to start with 15 vehicles very, very shortly. Over 800 public service vehicles are on Barbados' roads, and officials say the transition from fossil fuels to electric vehicles is imminent. Trevor Thorpe for the Business Report.